Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Lollipop and today is the day. The brand new 2023 Trek Marlin Gen 3 bikes have just been released with a completely redesigned brand new frame. And you can already see by looking at these pictures that these bikes look absolutely awesome. <sighs> okay, quick update. So I actually made this video and a couple of other videos on the Trek Marlin bikes back in September of 2022 which was about eight months ago because that is exactly how long the Gen 3 Marlins have been released in other countries around the world. Um, but at the time, I was still an employee of Trek Bicycle, so I was not allowed to upload any videos on these unreleased bikes until they were released in the United States. So that is why it's taken so long for me to get this video out here. But now they're officially released in the US. So with that, enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> In this video, like I always do when a new Trek lineup comes out, I will be showing you all the updates and changes from the previous Trek Marlin bikes to compare and contrast the models. So this video will specifically focus on the new Marlin 6 Gen 3. I'll go over every single detail that has been upgraded to create this bike, and I'll complete this table at the end of the video to highlight all of those changes in one place. So stick around to see these updates and definitely subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so you can get notified as soon as I upload videos on all the new Trek bikes that have just come out. But for a background, the Trek Marlin 6 is the least expensive Marlin that has received a new Gen 3 model for 2023, since we are not seeing any updates to the Trek Marlin 4 and Trek Marlin 5. And real quick, if you are confused about Trek's new naming system regarding generations like Gen 2 or Gen 3, I made a video explaining all of that and I'll link that in the description below. Regardless, the Marlin 6 is one of five bikes in the Trek Marlin range, and it sits right in the middle above the Marlin 5 and below the Marlin 7 in terms of price and quality. The Marlin bikes in general can be used as beginner mountain bikes or as commuting bikes, since the frames on these models do have mounts for a kickstand and for a rear rack. For this comparison, I'm only going to talk about the parts on this bike that have been updated for the new bike, so if I do not discuss a specific component in this video like the suspension fork or the drivetrain for example, it means that that part is the exact same one found on the previous Gen 2 Marlin 6. Okay, finally done with that intro, let's kick off this comparison by talking about the main change to this bike, which is the Marlin frame. So the new and old frames are fairly similar in the sense that both use the same type of aluminum, which is Trek's lowest end alpha silver aluminum, and they both have internal routing and mounts for all of those commuting features I mentioned previously. However, the differences are that the new Marlin frame uses a through skew axle in the rear instead of the normal quick release, and this just allows the back wheel to sit more evenly in the frame and makes it less likely to accidentally come off. The new frame still does not have a tapered head tube, but it does now have a nicer chainstay protector that will better protect your bike from chain scratches, and it will decrease chain noise. The new Marlin also removes the ability to mount a front derailleur on the bike internally, since it gets rid of a hole on the right side of the frame where the cable would normally come out. And one amazing feature on the new frame is finally a hole in the seat tube so you can internally route a dropper seat post. However, the biggest change to this frame is of course the updated modern geometry, so I made this table here to show you the main changes that Trek made. So you can see the head tube angle has been slackened out or decreased by 3 degrees to make this bike much more capable and stable while riding downhill, and the seat tube angle has increased by 1 degree to make this bike more efficient while climbing uphill. I'll show the full geometry numbers on the screen right now for all of the frame sizes, but essentially this means that the new Marlin frame will be better at descending and will still be good at climbing, so an overall great upgrade to see. And additionally, the Gen 3 frame is heavier. Uh, I don't have the exact value right now, but I will put it on the screen if I find it or in the comments below if I find it later. But now let's go ahead and continue with all of the other updates that are specific to the Marlin 6, starting with the price increase. At the time of me making this video, the Gen 2 Marlin 6 is priced at 850 US dollars, but is on sale for 750 dollars, while the new bike is now priced at 900 dollars. Okay, but now let's talk about these new colors. I know you guys love this part, so the previous generation Marlin 6 came in the colors Rage Red to a Neister Black Fade, Matte Neister Black with Volt Green Accents, Factory Orange, and Nautical Navy. Now all four of these colors have been replaced by four new ones which look amazing, and those are matte olive gray, hex blue to a deep dark blue fade, 
which is a similar color to the Marlin 8, but not exactly the same. Matte Neister Black with this holographic Trek logo outline that was previously seen on the Excalibur 8. And finally, the color Blue Sage, which also has some nice accents underneath the top tube and on the C tube. Now, the rest of the updates are pretty minimal, but I'll still mention them. So the hubs are actually the same, but the rear hub just uses the through skew system I mentioned before instead of the normal quick release. For the wheels themselves, the Gen 2 bike uses Bontrager connection rims, which are 32 hole, 20 millimeters wide, and use Schrader valves. The Gen 3 Marlin 6 now upgrades to the Bontrago Covey rims that are 28 hole and Presta valve for less weight and added strength on the trail. These are also wider at 23 millimeters for better stability and better strength, and are tubeless ready, which is great to see since you can more easily make this bike tubeless. Next, we have the tires. The Gen 2 Marlin 6 uses the Bontrager XR2 comp tires that are 30 GPI and are 29 by 2.2 inches wide in most sizes. The new bike uses a brand new line of Bontrager tires known as the XT3 tires. And these are the XT3 comp tires which are also 30 TPI, however they are wider at 29 by 2.4 inches wide in most sizes for some extra stability. And the last component difference we have is to the stem, and actually both bikes use the same model Bontrager comp stem, but the bikes just use different stem lengths in various sizes. Uh, you can see the new bike uses shorter stems overall, which also helps keep an upright position while mountain biking that is better for riding downhill. And Trek does release the official weights of their bikes, so in a size medium for both bikes, you can see the weight values on the screen. Uh, the new Gen 3 Marlin 6 does weigh one and a half pounds more than the Gen 2, which I suppose is because of the wider rims and tires and maybe a heavier frame as well. Once again, Trek has not released the weight of the frame yet, but I can't really see any of these components adding that much weight, so it's probably the frame. But yeah, those are all the updates and changes to the Trek Marlin 6 for the Gen 3 bike. I'll put up the completed table with all the detailed changes, but for my thoughts, I personally think that these updates are all for the better. The frame is an upgrade for sure, and all of these other parts have been upgraded a bit to match that. Uh, we're not seeing any crazy upgrades in the parts category, unfortunately, but this is definitely a step in the right direction, and I think that this new Marlin 6 is a much more capable bike because of it. That's all for this video, though, and definitely look out on my channel since my next video will be on the new Marlin 7. Thank you all for watching, and as always, remember to keep biking.